over three months since I last stood on this platform on the eve of an Old Bailey trial. The outcome of that trial was I was sent to three years penal servitude. And in a little over three months, I stand here again. At that last meeting, I tried to make my audience understand the reason why women are rebels. We are rebels. And with, and with greater justification than my fellow rebel, Sir Edward Carson. Sir Edward Carson is a rebel, as I am. He told us so in Ireland on Saturday. But he is at liberty, while I am a felon. And yet I and all other women have justification for rebellion, which neither Sir Edward Carson nor any other man in the so-called United Kingdom has. They have a constitutional means of, of obtaining redress for their grievances. Women have no such means. I say we are rebels because there is no other way open to us of obtaining redress for the grievances, the grave grievances which women have. die than submit. And that is the spirit that animates this movement. Well, we are not going to die. And at any rate, the movement is not going to die, and that is all that matters. We shall break laws in order to get our own way. They know perfectly well that we are breaking the laws because we have had no voice in making them. Because whether just or unjust, we have to submit to them because we are taxed without being represented. I mean to be a voter in the land that gave me birth or that they shall kill me. And my challenge to the government is this. Kill me or give me my freedom. I shall force you to make that choice.